Hi guys, I'm Genesis Moss, and this is my review of Masters of the Universe Classics Icer action figure from Mattel. Icer is the first figure in the Filmation sub, and let's take a look and see what he has to offer. Icer comes packaged on the standard Masters of the Universe Classics blister card. On the back of that package, we have a selection of other characters available in the line, as well as a brand new bio for Icer. Out of the package, Icer looks amazing. I just feel like he's about to say, Ice to see you, or chill out. No, I really don't feel that way, but I just thought it was nice to add in my little Arnold Schwarzenegger reference there. But this guy looks great. He looks just like he came out of the cartoon series, <laughs> and I'm just blown away with what little this figure really has to offer in ways of new parts he really just with his paint job and his face sculpt and the couple of new parts that he does have he will blow you out of the water first thing i want to note is he is made of a translucent clear plastic his plastic has a white frosting going over it to give him the look of ice and it looks very nice. His head sculpt looks just like it came out of the cartoon. He has this just mean, solid block of ice looking face. He's got whited out eyes. His headdress is made of fur. And it is good to note that on the back of that headdress, you do see his bald head sticking out. He has brand new wrist bracers, which are made of fur. He has the same loincloth piece that we've always seen in the Masters Classics line, just in a blue and white color scheme now. He has brand new fur boots, and he's just on the regular Masters Classics male figure buck. There's really nothing special as far as that. There's no new armor or anything like that. Where he really shines is just the fact that he does look like he came right out of the cartoon. He comes with two accessories. The first accessory that I want to point out is his icicle. His icicle is made of the same color plastic, but with a more rubbery feel to it. And it looks great in his hands, and it's a lot of fun to pose him with. His second accessory isn't even technically his, and this is where I like the filmation line and some of the stuff that we're getting, is we have the Staff of Avion. For a lot of people, this is gonna be what sells them on Icer. This is a great accessory. It's just, wow. I can't just dote on this accessory enough. It looks so fantastic in Icer's hands and actually makes Stratos look like a useful character. So let's go ahead and take a look at Icer's articulation. His head moves in a full 360 degrees, nods up and down. His arms move up, down, and all the way around. He has bicep cut, elbow cut, and wrist cut articulation, ab crunch, waist swivel, his legs move out, backwards, forwards, down. He's got knee cut, boot cut, and very, very, very tight ankle cut articulation. So overall, how do I feel about this figure? I think that Icer is a very welcome addition to the Masters of the Universe Classics line. I'm really glad that we have this guy. I'm glad that we have Club Filmation. I'm glad that we have the rights to Filmation. And I hope we see more and more Filmation representation as the year goes on. I cannot wait to see the wonderful things they have in store for us at San Diego Comic-Con this year. I've heard some great rumors and a little bit of intel, and it's going to rock, guys. It really is. So just look forward to that. Look forward to getting the 2014 subscription. That's it for this review. Thank you guys so much for watching. And don't forget to follow me on Facebook at facebook.com slash mossman82. Subscribe to my YouTube channel here. And don't forget to check me out on Twitter at IHaveThePower82. Thanks again for watching, and we'll see you next time.